emerging from one devoted fan who knew her at the height of her popularity. The Marilyn you've never seen, today's Inside Story. This is never-before-broadcast home movie footage of Marilyn Monroe with one of her most loyal fans, James Hasfield. During the mid-1950s, Marilyn was living in New York, exiled from 20th Century Fox for refusing to play what she considered frivolous roles. She spent most of her time in acting lessons so she could be considered a serious actress. Haspiel waited each day outside her apartment building in hopes of chatting with her or having her pose for a picture with him. Now, more than 30 years later, he has written Marilyn the ultimate look at the legend with some candid shots of Marilyn as we've never seen her before. And she turned out to be this very angelic, very, very sweet, girlish, not sensual person. Haspiel writes that he once followed her to a New York City park where she saw some young boys catching pigeons to sell at a market. And then she said, if I give you the money for the pigeons, would you free them? So they agreed. They counted the pigeons. She paid for the pigeons. They opened up the cages and the pigeons flew off. He also writes that he saw Marilyn go often to New York's Bowery District to hand out money to the homeless. behind-the-scenes newsreel footage from 1954 shows the memorable night when Marilyn filmed the seven-year itch. James Haspiel says he was there that night and saw Marilyn's husband, Joe DiMaggio, looking angered over her showing her panties. Haspiel also says that when Marilyn and DiMaggio were divorced the same year, he and his friends often saw DiMaggio spying on her. I think by then, he just wanted to see her. And the sadness is that if Marilyn appeared, we were free to go up to her and he wasn't. Marilyn then married playwright Arthur Miller in 1956. Haspiel recalls that when Marilyn suffered a miscarriage in 1958, he knocked on the door to her hospital room and visited with her briefly. The only light in the room was the little light on the face of a radio that was playing classical music. And she was lying in the bed, and Miller was sitting in a straight-back chair next to the bed, and they were holding hands. This is the famous footage in 1962 of Marilyn singing Happy Birthday to JFK. But this is what Haspiel captured with his home movie camera that same weekend. She looked very eager to go somewhere, primping in the back seat of the car. This was the last day that Haspiel saw his idol. She returned to her home in Hollywood and died tragically two and a half months later. She's been dead for many, many years, and yet somehow to the world she is more alive than most living actors. More pieces of the Monroe puzzle are beginning to surface, and this weekend on Entertainment Tonight, we'll show you an exclusive one, the screen test for her last film, The Misfits. This will be the first time the public has seen it since it was lost over 30 years ago.